How's the eyesight? Fine. No hazing. Everything's in focus. 2020. No headaches. Dizziness. I'm a okay, Doc. I made a full recovery. When you heading out to LA? Don't worry, I'll be out of Luke's life by the end of the week. It's not the reason I asked the question. Whatever you say. I want to give you the name of one of my colleagues out there. Not that I'm expecting you to have any problems, given the stellar job I did on you. Wow, but you are far too modest, you know that? You're going to need regular checkups, so... Dr. Colin McNulty at Cedar sinai He'll take good care of you. So there's another doctor out there that you actually trust and respect? I'm shocked. He's not as brilliant as I am. Who is? But, you know, he's close. Mm. I'll tell him to expect your call. I expect to find my own doctor. I put a lot of skill and effort into fixing you, Noah. Yeah, and you never hesitate to remind me or everybody else. Don't compromise your health just because you're ticked off at me for... Yeah, what? Go ahead. Say it. Stealing my boyfriend? Oh, ho, 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 please, please tell me that you are buying books for your stay in the hospital. No, actually, I'm looking for Katie. She disappeared during Graham's candlelight vigil. And Well, have you seen her? I haven't seen her, but I'm sure she's fine. No, John, she's not fine. She's very upset. She and Graham were very close. I just, I don't know, maybe she texted me. Listen to me, listen to me. Listen, Katie is not the one who needs medical help. You do. Now you come along with me. I'm going to admit you to the hospital. Come on. Okay, li li listen. I told you at Tom and Martin's house, okay? My parents, they are reeling from Graham's death, okay? They've got their own health issues, all right? They cannot handle any more bad news today, so no. Chris, don't you know that news of your illness is going to be a blow for them no matter what they do? But if we, the sooner we get you into that hospital and into treatment, the better your prognosis is going to be. So okay. come on. Yes, 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 John, I appreciate it. I, I really do. But one more day is not going to make any difference. One more hour could make a difference. You are gravely ill. I know that. You know that, but do you accept it? I don't think you do. I think you're in complete denial. John, I am not in denial here. I'm trying to get my ducks in a row, all right, before I go public with this. Because once I do, everything is going to change. Yeah. Right now, I need to find Katie because I'm up. Oh. You, know, you see? You see? Chest pain, right? Chest pain? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take him to the hospital. Right now, this minute. Find Katie first. Will you just help me find Katie? I will not help you find Katie. If she's at the hospital waiting for you, you're going to stop treatment today anyway. Now, come on. Look, I promise you, if she is not there, I will go out and find her myself. But I want to get you off your feet, into a bed, and get you on the oxygen. Come on. Let's go. Come on. daughter and two husbands but you kept going and you kept your faith oh i lost brad and i'm just a mess and now right when i'm starting to feel whole again the thought of losing chris too it's just like Open up to him, to love him and need him. I can't handle this. Hey. Hi, baby. Oh, it's alright to find you here. How's, how's the packing going? I'm almost finished. Oh, sweetie. What, what's, what's going on? Where's Chris? Oh, he's at the hospital, I think. Oh, do you need a big sister's shoulder to cry on? I'm just the one. I'm used to it. It's just so unfair. I know. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. I do. I know why you're crying. I know exactly why you're crying. You do? Who told you? I promise this won't take me long. Oh, honey, please, take your time. Worry about it. I really, really loved the candlelight service we had for Mom. So moving, simple, filled with love. Very Nancy, don't you think? <laughs> oh. What's the matter? Oh, I have a cough tape with Leland Pierce in an hour. Oh, I hate to cancel. 
one of the trustees, uh, uh, but he is the chairman of the board. But I'm, I'm sure he'll understand. Wait a minute, understand. wait a minute. Don't cancel the game. And play golf? No, no, I'm not suggesting that you play golf with him. I'm suggesting that you send Chris in your place. Okay, okay. Now listen, yeah. listen to me. Yeah. I want you to wait right here for me. I'm going to go down and get someone from admissions. Okay. Will you be all right on your own for a few minutes? I'm not an invalid yet, John. All right, thank wait you. here. Yes. Go. I don't think Chris will want to play golf any more than I do. Well, actually, I said it partly because he is grieving, but also, Nancy loved him to pieces, yes, but she also loved this hospital. And how many times in the last several months have you heard her say how thrilled she would be if he became chief of staff when you retire? Too many to count. Okay, so this is an opportunity. To know one another, Leland and Chris. I mean, how bad can that be? Oh, gotta lay down. Hey, you two, I thought you left. Well, your father had to check on a patient. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, fine. Well, you don't look fine. Oh, gee, thanks, Mom. I am serious, Christopher. Are you having trouble <laughs> catching your breath? No, no. You know, your mother's right. Is something wrong? No, no, no. no. I'm, I'm sorry. I ran from Old Town, and it's so hot outside looking for Katie. Uh, have you seen her? No. Why would Katie be here at the hospital? I must have got our lines crossed. She thought we were gonna be here, I thought, but I, I guess I'll go to her place and see if Wait, uh, do you, do you want to ask her? Look, if you don't want to do this, just say so. Do what? Well, I had a golf date with, uh, with Leland Pierce this afternoon, and I don't feel up like playing, and, uh, and uh, I was gonna cancel. And I suggested you go in his place. Uh, golf, today. Listen, I know it's been a tough day for all of us, and if you'd rather not, that's okay with me. And we would understand that perfectly. But if you do feel up to it, it'd be a great way for you and Leland to get to know one another in a little, little less structured yeah. setting. Right, right, right. It's just, you know, like Katie and I, we had plans, so maybe... Well, you think she'd really be upset if you just postponed it a bit? Oh, I don't know. You know, just showing up like that, it's not a little strange, you think, maybe? You mean because of your grandmother? You know, I, I just had thought about how proud she was of your accomplishments and how she was so looking forward to your success. I thought maybe if this would ease your, th your thinking, it seems to me she'd find this a great opportunity. She'd be all for it. What do you think, Dad? Well, nothing would have pleased your grandmother more than you becoming chief of staff. <sighs> all right, well, um, tell Leland I'll meet him at the club. All right, but just for nine holes. Oh, that's okay. so perfect. Now, that is assuming you could get around the course. Are you still out of breath? Well, it's just the excitement, you know, the prospect of spending a few hours with Leland Bear. Oh, so, stop uh, it, uh, Christopher. All right, well, wish me luck. <laughs> I wish you luck, but you don't need it. Okay. You're going to be perfect. <laughs> Oh, hey, and Luke, no. Nothing bad's happening. When Reed and I, we're just balancing the books. What's that supposed to mean? Well, it means that Reed is passing along a neurologist friend of his in L.A., and I am passing along you. So we're square now, huh? Right, Doc? What did you say to him? Nothing. I gave him the name of a colleague of mine in L.A. He went all emotional on me. Why? I don't know. I heal brains. I don't read them. Well, I have to go after him. Suit yourself. Don't be mad. I'm not. Noah needs to learn how to stand on his own two feet. He can't do that if you keep coddling him. Look, he's going away. I don't know when I'm going to see him again. I don't want him to leave like this. I'll do what you have to do. I have to get to the hospital. Well, I'll meet up with you there. 
Thanks for understanding. Hey, honey, nobody had to say anything to me. And how? Well, it's it's obvious. Sure. It is? Oh, yeah, when I saw you slip out of the ceremony, I knew exactly what you were thinking. Oh, I shouldn't have done that to Chris right when he needed me the most. He's left me, like, three messages, and I just can't bring myself to face him. Wait a minute, I'm sure that he understands. Listen, we all grieve our own way. And you and Nancy, you had a very special connection. But I know it wasn't about that. I know you were thinking about Brad. And losing Nancy just brought back the pain of losing you. <sighs> yeah. You don't know how much. We had so much to look forward to, so many plans, and it, it was a wonderful guy. And, and you were blessed to have what little time you did with him. And now you are blessed to have Chris, right? I know. Yeah. And he cares so much about you and Jacob, and you are going to build an amazing future together. Okay. I, I, I mean... You, you and Chris have a, a, a great relationship, right? I mean, yeah, that's yeah. A, an exceptional relationship, right? I mean, that's mm -hmm. why you were about to make an announcement. Announcement? Well, yeah, isn't that why you got the whole family together the other night? But then we got the news about Nancy. Are you and Chris going to announce your engagement? Engagement? Yeah. What? Is that what everyone thought? Well, of course. Why, 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 why else would you pack the whole family in, in one little room? What's, what's the matter, Kate? Okay, talk to me. I, I don't even know where to start. Well, if you and Chris weren't going to announce your engagement, was it something else? No, no, no. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing no, but I'm seeing yes. Katie, what is it? Hey, there you are. Stopped by the office, tried to get some work done. That was a total waste of time. I just couldn't concentrate. I'm sorry, did I, did I interrupt something? No, I was just saying. What a difficult day it's been for everyone. Um, I'm gonna do this later. Oh, baby. Okay, I'm sorry. <sighs> is she all right? No, I don't think she is. Well, she and Graham were very close. Yeah, they were, but I think she's upset about something else. Excuse me, have you seen Dr. Chris Hughes? He was supposed to wait for me right here. Dr. Hughes left, Dr. Dixon. He left the hospital? Did he say where he was going? Just to be back in a couple of hours. Is he out of his mind? John, what's wrong? Chris! I was getting admitted to the hospital. He was waiting for me right here, but now he's disappeared. Well, we'll, we'll make some calls. We'll track him down. Wait, 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 wait. His grandmother passed away last night. They had a memorial service for her this morning, and, well, Chris felt that his family didn't need any more bad news today, so he's put off telling them about his diagnosis. But now he's disappeared. I'll try him on his cell. Bob, uh, John just told me about your mother. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry for your loss. Oh, thank you, Bree. She seemed like a great lady. She was. Uh, well, she had a good long run of it, 91 years. That's impressive. It's particularly difficult losing a parent at, at any age, Doctor. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I guess that's the downside of, of uh, caring about people. It's upside, too, I hear. Uh, you two haven't seen Chris, have you? He's playing golf. He's playing golf? Yeah, I had a date with... Uh... Leland Pierce, and I was going to cancel. And I suggested Chris take his place. I guess you're probably not too happy about that. You have no idea. Noah, I don't want you to leave like this. Like what? Angry? Bitter? We've been through so much together. Don't we deserve a nice goodbye? And what? I promise to, to stay in touch, stay friends? Yeah, absolutely. We were more than friends, Luke. So much more. I'm hurting like hell right now, and yet you're not hurting at all, which makes it even worse for no, me. No, that's not true. I'm hurting. Oh, really? It doesn't look like it. Uh, I'm sorry. I know I'm supposed to take the high road and just wish you and Reed a happy life together, but I'm not that nice. Yes, you are. You're one of the nicest people I've ever met. And if we end things like this down the road, I know you're going to regret it as much as I will. Yeah, I would, but I can't pretend that I'm not feeling what I'm feeling. Fine. Then let's get everything out in the open. You're angry at me. No, I'm not. I'm well, not. then, what? 
Going to L.A., I mean, having this opportunity to break into the film business, it's, it's, it's been my dream for so long. I mean, you, you know that. And now you're living it. No. <laughs> no, Luke, I'm not. Because in my dreams, you were always there with me. You, just right by my side. And now that I'm going out there on my own, it's, it's not the same. You know what? You're smart. You're talented. You're gonna be great out there. I wouldn't even be going to L.A. at all if it wasn't for you. I would never have had the guts to face my father or surgery. I mean, at every major milestone in my life, you've been there to give me courage. You believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. And I don't know if I can go out there and, and do this on my own. Of course you can. But I don't want to. Don't you get that? I'm still in love with you. You said we should be honest with each other. I meant it. So be honest with me. I mean, are you really ready to say goodbye to me, for, to us, for good? No, I... I love you, and I will always love you. What? Let's say it. What? You're not in love with me anymore? You're in love with Reed? Are you? What, what, do you know? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yes. Yes, I'm in love with Reed, I am. He's not right for you. He, there's something about him. He's selfish. He's gonna hurt no, you. No, no, I don't think that's true. But you don't know. Yeah, but you never really know what anybody's gonna do, do you? I, I deserve that. I, after the accident, I, I pushed you away. Because I, I, I blamed you. It was easier than, than blaming myself. No, I, it was an accident. I wanted to punish you. Well, mission accomplished. No, I, I wanted to be there for you. I wanted to help you through it, but you cut me out of your life. So what? So what? This with Reed? This is all payback? No, no, this is me. This is me realizing that although, yes, we loved each other, we were not right for each other. But you and Reed are. Yes. <laughs> I just, I thought that I didn't think this distance between us would last. Well, then what did you think? I don't know. I thought that when we... That we'd come out of this at the other end, you know, together. More connected than we ever Noah, have, Noah, Noah, we will always be connected. Yes, yes, we will. Otherwise, we would not be standing here and we would not be having this conversation. It's not... It's not the same. No. It's not. We can still be friends. Good friends. No. I can't. Hey, John. Thanks for coming to the service this morning. I met a lot. Oh, well, you know, she was a great lady. Yeah, yes. Come on in, sit down. I'll make you some coffee. No, I, I can't stay. I'm uh, looking for Chris. Is he? I thought he might be here. No, I haven't seen him since the service. You? No, no. I see. Uh, what about Katie? Have you seen her at all? I saw her before at, at uh, Graham's apartment. Why? Is she still there? No, no, she already left. Oh, I see. Too bad, too bad. Well, listen, uh, if Chris calls you or anything like that, will you tell him to get in touch with me? Uh, better yet, it's very important to have him meet me at the hospital. Wait, does this have something to do with the case that Could you, you just read? do oh, that fine, one thing fine, for fine, me, please? Yeah, I forgot. Take care, I just, all right. I... Is anything okay? No, frankly, everything is a mess. A, a mess? How? Why do you want to find Chris and Katie? Look, it, it, it's not for me to say. Uh, actually, it is. Why did I come back to this place? Everyone and everything in this town is so complicated. It's, it's complicated how? Ask Chris. You know what? That's oh. it. Look, something is obviously going on. It has to do with Margot's sister and my brother, which means we have a right to know. Well, you get no argument from me on that, no. Well, then tell us. I can't. It's oh, not for... Sh All right, wait. There is another way. Another way how? What? You come with me. Come on. <sighs> Reed's not home. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I got it. 
Come on in. I thought Reed said he'd be at the hospital, but I checked and he wasn't, so I guess I misunderstood. Oh, I don't know. Usually I have a vague idea of where he is, but today I'm just kind of in my own world. We just buried Chris's grandma. Yeah, I heard. How are you holding up? Honestly, I've been better. Oh, Katie, I'm so sorry. This is really unfair. Yeah. Nancy was just such an amazing woman. She... Oh, it's so weird to think she's not going to be around anymore. Doling out advice whenever I need it, and I could really use it right now. I'm not just talking about Nancy. What then? <clears throat> you know about Chris? Well, he and Reed didn't want to tell you because of everything you'd gone through with Brad, but I told them that you're stronger than they think. Yeah, but that's just the thing. I'm not. I'm such a mess, Luke. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry about your grandmother, Chris. I always enjoyed chatting with her at hospital functions. She was a, a grand lady. They don't make them like that anymore. <laughs> no, sure don't. How's your father holding up? Ah, uh, good, good. Um, this could be expected. I mean, not well enough to play golf today, but, you know. But you did. Yeah. Despite your grief. Well, thought it'd be a good idea for us to get better acquainted. I agree, I agree. Top-notch idea. Uh, I tell you, my grandmother, I think she would approve. She was devoted to Memorial, so. Oh, she raised an awful lot of money for us over the years. Yeah, <laughs> well, Memorial is in my blood. Practically grew up there. You know, I've seen it change and evolve over the years. I've got a pretty clear idea where we need to go in the future to remain a cutting-edge institution. I'm all ears. Well, I think technology is our biggest obstacle. I mean, we've already computerized our record keeping, which is, which is, which is great. But we need to upgrade a few uh, key, key systems. Chris? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm sorry. I'm fine. I, Are you sure? Yeah, no, it's, um, it's sorry, allergies. Uh, do you need an inhaler? Uh, no, no, no need. No need. I'm fine. In fact, let's go hit the course. Chris Hughes, what a surprise. Oh, Mr. Pierce, Dr. Reed Oliver, we've met. A number of times, of course. You're this young man's competition for Memorial's new chief of staff. What a coincidence running into you like this. Hey, listen, since we are all here, do you mind if we make it a threesome? Yes, not at all. The more the merrier. You two can tell me your ideas for the future of the hospital. I'll tell the starter. Okay. What the hell are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? John Dixon is right. You are an idiot. You're in danger of heart failure any second. Okay, don't exaggerate. Obviously, you haven't seen your EKG. I don't need to. Golf is not a strenuous game, at least not the way I play it. Where did this denial come from? It can't be genetic. Most of your family is relatively rational. Look, I'm gonna play a few rounds and then I'm gonna bow out. No, you're gonna bow out right now. No, look, my parents asked me to be here. This is important to them. It's more important than your life. You know what? I'm gonna go to the hospital when we're done here, all right? And then I'll sit down with my parents and I'm gonna tell them what's going on. If you're still alive. Please, just go. Nope. Fine. You know what? D do what you want to do, but you're only going to embarrass yourself. You don't even play golf. If you're staying, I'm staying. You may need CPR. Well, it's a beautiful day to be out on the old links, huh, Leland? Can't ask for better weather. What's your handicap, Reed? Uh, I don't know where you've been. We don't use the word handicapped anymore. The correct phrase is physically challenged. Reed has a strange sense of humor. I have to warn you, son. Golf is my passion. I take it very seriously. So seriously, what is your handicap? Yeah, I don't have one. He's new to the game. New as in brand new? As in you've never played before, not once? Never held a club in my life before now. It's all right, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fast learner. You know, why don't you just watch us today, follow along, and then you can take some lessons, and then some other time... No, 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 I want to play with you guys, I'm psyched. I'm not going to slow you down. Come on, you're just, just hitting the ball off of a, a little wooden toothpick thing. How hard can that be? Yeah, I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Okay, here, let me... All right, you put the ball here, right? 
All right. Now, what am I aiming for? The little hole down there. See the flag? Hole. Flag. Yep. All right. I got you. Ugh. Whoa! Oh. Cow! You hit a perfect drive. Keep playing like this. This game will be over in no time. That's the idea. You know, ever since Mom passed away, we've all been so involved in making all the arrangements and everything. I feel like there hasn't been any time to just stop and feel. You know, I talked to her ten minutes before I drove over there. I know you did. I heard you. I mean, she's laughing fine. I mean, if she'd been in pain, I mean, if there was something wrong with no, her. No, 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 no. You would have heard it. You would have known it. You know, when I got there, I rang the bell, and uh, she didn't come to the door. And I figured maybe she was in the bathroom, uh, bedroom, getting ready. So I let myself in. I walked into the living room, and uh, there she was, sitting in her favorite chair. Just the way she was sitting, I knew. Sweetheart, I am so sorry. She shouldn't have been alone. I should have been there. Oh, she wasn't alone. Don't think like that. She was surrounded by love. Our love for her and her love back to us. And you, oh my darling, you were her golden boy. <laughs> you were such a wonderful son to her. She was a wonderful mother. Oh, well, she was an extraordinary woman. She was a pistol, you know <laughs> that. And we're going to miss her. But we're all going to continue to love her and her memories of her. So, what do you think you'd like to do after you check in on your patient? Let's just go home and be together. Oh, that sounds so perfect. You know, one thing we have to remember to do later on, we should call Chris, find out how that golf game went. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Hughes, how's that golf game going? Ooh. All the nurses are rooting for your son. Whoa, news travels fast. <laughs> I'm sure he's a much better golfer than Dr. Oliver. <laughs> better golfer than Oliver? What's she talking about? I don't have a clue. I want to be there holding his hand and telling him that it's going to be okay, but I don't know if it's going to be okay. I mean, what if I lose him? No. What if I lose him like I lost Brad? Katie, Katie, you're not going to lose him. Chris said it's a possibility. He did? I mean, I don't think that he was trying to scare me. I think he was just also not trying to sugarcoat it, though, you know? Really, what I think he was doing was giving me an out. Just a, an opportunity to walk away if I need to. Do you want to do that? No, I love him! Wow, that's the first time I've said that out loud. <laughs> well, don't you want the chance to be able to tell him that? I told him that I was going to be here for him, with him, no matter what, but I just... What? I don't think I'm the best thing for him right now. Katie, how could you say that? Because he's worried about me and what I'm dealing with, and he needs to be worried about what he's dealing with, about getting better, but what if he doesn't get better? He will. <sighs> no, I know that. How? Because Reed's on the case. You know how self-confident Reed is? He's not going to let anything happen to Chris. No, not if he can help it. No, he wants Chris to get better so he can beat him fair and square for chief of staff. And I bet right now he is standing at Chris's bedside, questioning everything Dr. Dixon is saying, uh, ordering all the nurses around <laughs> and just being insufferable. And Chris, well, Chris is on the road to full recovery. What's going on? Huh? How are you doing? 
no, 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 nothing, nothing. I'm, 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 your I'm, pulse is erratic. <laughs> if you tell me that you're fine one more time, I am going to smack you. That deep stabbing feeling in your chest is your heart crying out for help. Listen to it. And leave me alone. Okay, you leave me no choice. Oh, oh, hey. I saw that. You you moved your ball. You're you're not allowed to do that, right? Are you allowed to do that? I didn't move the ball, Dr. Oliver. Oh yeah, you did. I saw. Don't you... read. Are you accusing me of cheating? Well, unless you know some other word for it. Ignore him, Leland. He's... Oh, there's nothing worse than cheaters, though. You should not cheat. He's... That's okay, Chris. I could defend myself. You have some gall, Oliver. You show up here uninvited, and then you horn in on our game, and now you have the audacity to accuse me of cheating? You're not even a member. Like I'd want to be. Whole club built around men in pastel polyester pants chasing around little balls, calling it exercise. Don't even get me started on what golf courses do to the environment. Chris. Will you forgive me if I bow out? I've been insulted enough for one day. You and I will get together and we'll play without any interruptions. Oh, well, hey, it was good get getting to know you. You the man. Can you breathe? You know, you just blew your chance as chief of staff. No, that's okay. I like an even playing field. Not much competition if you're dead. Oh. I'm going to get you to the hospital. Let's go. I thought you guys were going straight home after the service. Well, I had to check on a patient. What? What are you doing? We're looking for Chris. Yeah, John says Chris has something to tell us. What? Well, whatever he and Katie were going to tell us the other night, but we don't know because someone's being very secretive. Do you know where he is? Do you know where Chris is? Yes, he's playing golf with Leland Pierce. He's playing golf? Oh, I doubt that very much, given what... Given you know, what? Well, given... Uh, never mind, but I don't think he's playing golf. Whoever told you that has been misinformed. He's not playing golf. A not today. Actually, actually, we encouraged him to play golf. And I just found out that, that Dr. Oliver has joined in the mix as well. Chris and Oliver? Now, that doesn't make any sense at all. It's just golf, John. What are you so upset about? Why'd you drag us all the way down here? I mean, what is the big mystery? And don't say you can't say. Just tell us what's going on. It's Chris. What about Chris? <gasps> Christopher! Son, what's wrong? You're both strong. And you'll get through it. Chris is strong. Mm, not so sure about me. Katie, how could you say that? Your husband died right after you gave birth to your son, and now you're raising that little boy by yourself. You don't call that tough? It just doesn't always feel that way. Look, I know that you're scared, but Chris is in the best possible hands. And once he tells his family the truth, they'll be there to support him during treatment. But you know the support he needs the most? Yours. I know, I know. I need to focus on that. Not how scared I am, but how much Chris needs me. Yeah, but the two aren't exclusive. I mean, of course you're scared. Who wouldn't be in this situation? The thing is, you can't let your fear pull you away from the person you love the most. I do. I love him so much. Mm -hmm. Then how about this? How about I drive you to Memorial? I think you guys should be together right now. You're right. What was I thinking? Why was I staying away? So... Um... Is that a yes? Yes, it's a definite <laughs> yes. So. What happened? Nothing, nothing, Dad. I'm, I'm fine. You're Good. not fine. Claire, will you help Dr. Oliver get Chris into his room? I want him on oxygen to get his vitals. I'll be in in a moment. What is going on? What is wrong with I him? I don't know, but obviously you do. Let us get him settled down and I'll explain everything. No, you explain now, John. No, later. Damn it, he's my son. I know he's your son, but he's also my patient. So let's just calm down and let me do my job. Chris wants to tell his family himself. Yes. Well, after I examine them, perhaps you can keep them occupied for a while. Why isn't somebody telling us what's going on? How is it? Hey, you can see him in a few minutes. This is why you called in John Dixon without passing it by me. The patient is my son. Just give John a chance to examine him, and he wants to speak with you and your wife. I don't think 
I'm ready for this at all. Just take as much time as you need. You stay with me? Absolutely. Chris would like to talk to you. Come in. Do they know? Chris is telling him right now. Why don't you go in? Go and join him. One of the family, too. I don't know. What if I get in there and I just, I can't handle it? Don't. Chris is under enough stress as it is worrying about everyone but himself. No, you can do this, Katie. No, I was wrong. I'm definitely not ready for this. All right, well, listen, just go home and then come back when you can deal with it. Okay, that's a good idea. I just, I just, I don't want to make things harder. No, for you. Katie, Katie. No, 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 no. Why would you do something like that? Do something like what? Send her away. I didn't send her away. I asked her if she could go in there with Chris and his family without freaking out. She said, no, this is better. No, it's not better. She loves him and she should be with the rest of the people that love him and he needs her there. No, well, she's gonna make it worse. Reed, I spent an hour trying to convince her that she has the strength to do this and you just blew that apart in two words. Well, clearly she wasn't as ready as you thought she was. They're not gonna need me for a while. I'm gonna go get some coffee. Wait, so now, so now you're walking away? It's called pacing oneself. Now he has a permanently damaged heart and he may die. And I want to know why I wasn't told. I will do anything. Just tell me what to do. Consider staying away. 